Maybe you already saw some reports about new Assassin's Creed rumors or videos talking about the next game going to India or other things. Like Valhalla isn't even out for 3 months yet and the rumor mills are already turning crazy. So in this video I want to go over the things that I think are real and where we go from here after Valhalla. This is the Sunday Your Game Show episode 37. Every Sunday I look at recent gaming trends, make predictions and also answer one of your questions at the end of the video. So a like on the video would of course really help me out and let's go. This is the final time that you can participate in my January giveaway for a 2021 game of your choice and you can enter via the link in the pinned comment and these giveaways are for subscribers of the channel only. I will announce the winner next week in the Sunday video. Okay, so in the last couple of weeks we had three so-called leaks for the next AC and I'm not really surprised by that because as I told you many times before, I would not be surprised if a new game was announced already this year. So on 4chan, one leak talks about the next game going to India, but when a leak already starts with Ubisoft Insider here, I almost immediately tune out because then it sounds more like a YouTube video. Yo, Ubisoft Insider here got the latest info. <laughs> the last point is also interesting where they note that the bounty system is back, but each region has their own bounty system. If you have a bounty in the Muggle Empire, you won't bring it to Dutch India. Like that's just a weird thing that is super specific while the other dots are super vague. Also only a female protagonist like that is hard to believe because let's not forget that it took us two months after the Valhalla reveal to finally see female Eivor. So would be a big 180. I would love to have a single protagonist again, male or female, I don't really mind. But I find it hard to believe that Ubisoft will do this. So yes, the India leak, I don't really buy it. We do actually have an idea though of where the next game might be set. But we will get to that in a moment. There was another so-called leak with pretty obvious Valhalla DLC possibilities. Like they sound more like educated guesses. I also think that March and early June for both expansions is more wishful thinking. I would love to be wrong though. As a squid champion is the code name. Okay, being a classical European fancy take on the series set in medieval France and Germany and releasing in early 2022. So there are some things in this rumor that could be right, but I think these are mostly just educated guesses. We of course heard the early 2022 window before and it's still strange because every big AC game launches at the end of the year. But with almost every big game being delayed, recently Riders Republic from Ubisoft, the Golem game got delayed to 2022, the Harry Potter game was of course delayed, Sony delayed their PlayStation 5 exclusive Returnal. Like, I would not be surprised if this means that this new AC was also pushed to early 2022. And then it would still be in Ubisoft's financial year, which ends on March 31st, 2022. So, it's totally possible. No, but French YouTuber Jonathan, of course, already teased this potential release window. And unlike the anonymous users on 4chan, Jonathan does have a track record. On April 13th, 2020, so more than two weeks before Valhalla was announced, he posted this tweet that with Google Translate reads like this. It will be Vikings, not called Kingdom or Ragnarok. Back then we thought that it would be Ragnarok. Hidden Blade is back, Shield 2, and the main character should be woman, but we can still choose a man. And well, that turned out to be true. That last point in particular is very interesting. He then continued with a follow-up tweet with points that all turned out to be true as well. Especially the lots of supernatural stuff. Was something we only learned about closer to the release when Ubisoft unveiled the mythical world. So when he says first quarter of 2022 when discussing the new AC on Twitter. Then there's totally a chance that he is right. In another tweet he suggests that Sophia is the studio leading this project and they of course did Rogue, a big part of Origins and also the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC. And before we look at some other Jonathan tweets with more hints as to what this next AC will be, let's quickly touch on Sophia because if we look at the Valhalla credits, we actually see that many people at the studio worked on Valhalla as well. Some did not update their LinkedIn page yet to include Valhalla while they were still in the credits. I did not see Martin Keppel in the credits though, he was the game director on the Curse of the Varos, Origins for Sophia and Rogue before it. 
So not sure if he's still at Sofia. Otherwise, he might be leading this new game. The point is, though, that on LinkedIn, it looks like there are only 123 employees working at the studio. Likely a bit more that aren't on LinkedIn, but a ton of them seem to have worked on Valhalla as well. Sure, they could have only worked on Valhalla during the early parts of development and then focus on this new title. They're not doing any of the DLCs this time. Singapore is on Paris and has been way more in the spotlight for Valhalla this time around. Which makes sense if Sofia is on this next AC. But that does mean that they haven't been working on this game for too long, you would think, right? And well, maybe that is because it's a different type of game. I got reached out by Bruno on Reddit about an interesting conversation where Bonifoy on Twitter asked Jonathan if the new game is an RPG, which he would not respond to. But if we then go further down in this conversation, we see Bonifoy says that he could see a semi-linear AC like The Last of Us or Uncharted The Lost Legacy. After which Jonathan just posted the two eyes emoji, maybe implying that Bonafoy might be onto something. Like I find it really hard to believe that Ubisoft would step away from the RPG formula that made them so much money. Valhalla had the most successful AC launch ever, but maybe a more linear AC is the only possible title they could launch between now and the next game from the Valhalla team. And well, seems like that Valhalla team is already in pre-production. We got Nicolas, the visual design art director on Valhalla, tweeting on January 6th that there's no better way to start the year than brainstorming with the crew. Looking ahead. Oh, well, what might that be? And also Darby confirms that he is not working on the Valhalla DLCs, but actually enjoying a vacation, much deserved of course, and that he will be dreaming of new postures soon. So it seems like the key vigors on Valhalla will immediately be jumping on the new game like they did after Origins as well. And I think this new game is likely planned for the end of 2023. But yeah, we know Ubisoft, right? Three years without a new AC, not gonna happen. So then we likely have this Sofia game to hold us over till then. Jonathan tweeted out this code that seems to hint at 2022 and also the body armor of what seems to be King Richard of England, who we actually met in the first AC, who despite being born in England, actually spent most of his life in France. So the might hint at the game taking place in France, the first rumor that appeared recently was this one, also talking about the 100 year France war as a potential setting, and also here it is noted that it would be a smaller budget title. Jonathan said that this rumor has some true info in it, and some false info as well. So yes, very interesting stuff. Seems that before the new game from the Valhalla team, we get a smaller, more linear AC, if the hints from Jonathan are of course anything to go by and correct. And it could also explain why the support for Valhalla seems to be longer than for Origins and Odyssey. We saw a hint of that of course in the post-launch trailer where the line continues past the first year. Maybe that's because this will be the only RPG AC in three years. I don't know about you, but I'm intrigued by this rumor. I'm totally open for something new while we wait for a bigger, longer game like Valhalla or Odyssey. And the truth is that we will actually learn more about Ubisoft's future plans on February 9th. That is when they will do their financial report, so likely hint at the amount of games coming before March 2022, and this AC game should be part of it. So I'll of course listen to it, and keep you up to date here when we know more. And before I answer one of your questions, I wanted to showcase this enormous TV Sony sent me, the Sony Bravia XH90 65 inch. I've been playing some Valhalla on it on the PS5, as you can see. And the cool thing about this TV is that it supports up to 120 frames per second. So games like the new Call of Duty that I'm downloading right here supports that which is pretty nuts. Okay, let's grab the remote here. It has a dedicated Netflix button. I think most TVs nowadays have a dedicated Netflix button. And we got a pretty cool home screen here with a ton of the streaming services. Disney Plus, I've been watching a ton of WandaVision, loving it. And for some reason, Netflix has decided to reboot Wings Club as a live action show. And they know that it's in the top 10. I don't believe that. It looks actually pretty bad, so I don't think you should watch it. Either way, thanks again to Sony for sending me this enormous TV. Now let's go back to... Yeah, not the studio, because we're already in the studio. To my room. Let's go back to my room. Another show that I really like, The Boys on Amazon Prime. Watch it if you haven't already. I don't like Wings Club, though, but you get what I mean. 
Can't wait to use the TV. Thanks again, Sony, for sending it. But yeah, we're for now still stuck in this room. And of course, if you have a question that I then might answer in the next Sunday video, you can leave it in the comments under this one. Last week, I got a comment from Gamer Will who asked, Will the next Assassin's Creed be cross-gen? And that's, of course, another important question. I think the answer is yes. And one of the main reasons is the shortages of the new consoles. I really think it will take a pretty long time before we see third-party next-gen exclusives that are not paid for, like Deathloop. Sony paid for that, so that's why it's only on PS5. But for example, for Ubisoft, it makes sense to support these older platforms for a longer time because nobody can buy a PS5 or Series X. Like, it's really hard. We got some news that the shortages will likely continue till the end of this year. So then launching a new game only on a console that nobody can buy, not really smart. So what I think will happen is that if this is also like a smaller game, it makes sense that they for one less time make it for PS4 and Xbox One as well. And then the new game from the Valhalla team will likely be this major Unity style leap only on next gen consoles and then in 2023. That's at least where I think we're at. And of course, when we know more, Again, that Ubisoft financial meeting will be very, very interesting. We'll report back when we know more. So totally subscribe if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help me out. And totally check out my previous video by clicking on the screen on a Ubisoft Star Wars game that is coming. For if you haven't watched it yet. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.